Back in 2020, I decided to go on a solo road trip through Swedish Lapland. My ex-girlfriend had just left me, and I felt a desperate urge to just go somewhere really far away. An urge to rediscover the passion that I had for filmmaking and photography that had been lost somewhere along the way. The only plan I had was to rent a car and go as far north as north goes. Good morning, welcome to Lapland. I uh, woke up a few minutes ago, I made some coffee and uh, except for all these damn flies that want to eat my face, it's uh, really peaceful. I don't even know myself yet what kind of video this is going to be but uh, I know that I have all my camera gear with me, I'm in a beautiful part of Sweden and we have tons of stuff to explore and I want to try to take you guys with me so let's just see where that leaves us basically the plan right now is to make some breakfast I gotta organize some stuff in the car and uh, then I'm gonna hit the road again all right so I finished my breakfast and I've organized the car a little bit it probably looks worse, but at least now I know now I know where everything is so I can find it. I've also had the car running for a while so I can uh, charge that little guy. Because the last thing I want to do when I'm out in the middle of nowhere is to run out of uh, battery in the car. So yeah, we're going to hit the road. I still don't have any reception, but hey guys. I just can't, like, I can't let go of how beautiful everything is up here. Uh, but yeah, time to hit the road. Feel it now every time I leave. It hits me hard and it cuts me deep. I'm a thousand miles from happiness. Thousand miles from you. I really can't keep stopping this much, like every two minutes I'm stopping by the road. And you see something and then two minutes later it's something even more beautiful. I bet around the corner here I'm gonna have to stop again. Because it looks like we have a big mountain over there as well. I guess this is how it is when you live in a big city and you come out to the nature. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. Alright, so I just had some lunch. Uh, I think I'm getting close to the end of this uh, wilderness road, which is what it's called. Yeah, it's taking quite a long time as you can imagine. There's a lot of beautiful things to film. 
and uh, yeah I think for the rest of the day I'm mostly gonna be driving uh, where am I gonna sleep I have no idea or well I'm gonna sleep in the car but I don't know where and uh, depending on what time and how I feel I will probably get back to you then uh, but if not I'll see you guys in the morning so even though the wilderness road was the furthest north that I'd ever been in Sweden it was still 11 hours south of my final destination Abisko so just a quick little update, uh, I've been driving non-stop for like five hours. If you don't count, like I probably had like two or three reindeer stops. I feel like such a tourist, you know, when I'm stopping as soon as I see a reindeer, but I mean, it's pretty cool. And it's also very dangerous because they just walk like totally chill on the road. I'm gonna keep driving and uh, I mean, as, as further north as I go, the, the lighter it's gonna get, so I don't to be honest, I don't think it's gonna get darker than this, maybe a little bit. But uh, right now I'm on the way to uh, like a viewpoint and I'm hoping that I can arrive there uh, when it's still a bit of light because I want to cook up some dinner there, even though it's really late already. Uh, but that's the life when you're filming, guys. You're gonna get behind schedule 100%. If the GPS says uh, six hours, it's gonna be probably 12. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep going and I'll keep you updated. Time is currently 22.54, uh, I've been just constantly driving since we talked last time and now I'm working my way up the last kilometer to this viewpoint where I wanted to spend the night. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, like <laughs> I'm a little bit scared. Like this is what it looks like here. And uh, yeah, I haven't seen any other cars. Uh, so. Okay, so I've just arrived and uh, this is the view. Three sixty. And apart from that, it's raining and uh, it's scary and camping is forbidden. So I'm gonna see that as a sign to get the hell out of here and go find somewhere else to sleep. There's a big town nearby. Maybe I'll sleep in a parking lot. Maybe I'll sleep. Uh, yeah most likely parking lot to be honest but uh, I will probably catch up with you guys tomorrow uh, because I'm getting tired and I just wanna yeah see you guys tomorrow said and done I ended up driving until late at night and sure enough I ended up in a parking lot but the good thing is that now I was only two hours away from Abisko as far north as you can go in Sweden I'm actually already outside. You are my favorite place to go. You're at the end of my favorite road. Good morning and welcome to uh, I think this place is called Lappare Suando if I'm not mistaken and it took me quite a while to find a place to sleep this is like a resting spot where you're supposed to stop and sleep and like have a little bit of fika and stuff but uh, I went into Gällivare I didn't find any place to sleep so I was like damn am I gonna have to drive all the way to Abisko and I was getting so tired Anyways, I finally found this place. I arrived really late and I actually had a pretty good sleep this evening. Uh, I slept for maybe six, seven hours. And uh, yeah, that's basically what happened last night. Also, my sneakers got wet yesterday, so now I got the proper hiking boots on. Not very comfortable to drive in, but uh, I'd rather have these than to have wet feet, you know? Um, and yeah. That's the plan. Oh right, I'm also going to book a hotel room tonight.
So I have arrived in Obisco. This was the end destination and now I'm here. It feels amazing, I'm exhausted and everything here is so beautiful. It's like, I don't even think cameras can describe how beautiful it is. You're surrounded by mountains and yeah, I don't even know what to say. Like on the way the road down here to the hotel, I saw this waterfall and I was like, hmm, I'd, I'd like to get a better look at that. Well, guess what? <laughs> right outside my window. It's just amazing, but uh, as you can probably see, I need to take a shower. I cannot wait to take a shower. I'm exhausted right now, but I'm super excited. And I'm so excited to sleep in a bed tonight. And yeah, I'm excited about a lot of things, but uh, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. My initial plan was to take a shower and go on an evening hike. But instead I decided to get some long-awaited sleep and go for a sunrise hike instead. All right, so good morning guys. Welcome to a new day. Um, so there was quite a bit of a change of plan yesterday. I talked to a guy that I follow on Instagram and he was here about a week ago and he said that he started at three in the morning. So I was like, yeah, that sounds good. Then you don't have a lot of people there and yeah. But I overslept, so it's around 6 a.m. now and we're quite late, but uh, I'm just cooking up some breakfast over here. And as soon as I finish that, we're gonna drive the last part and start the hike. Trollsjön in Abisko is a fairly easy hike that leads up to a glacial lake. It takes about two to three hours to get to the top, and all along the way you're treated with amazing scenery. With the right conditions, the lake is clear enough to see 36 meters deep. I wasn't that lucky this time. It was quite windy and the sun was high in the sky. So instead of filming and taking photos, I decided to just sit down and enjoy the moment. And then it was time to start driving south again. So I decided to start heading south again so I can, because I mean the trip is not over yet so I want to explore more stuff and uh, I can do that down south as well or we're still crazy up, like we're still way up in the north but further south than Abisko I guess. Uh, so yeah that's the reason and um, I've stopped here now to make some food and I don't know if I'm gonna sleep here. It's a great spot actually it's really beautiful but uh, I'm not tired yet so I don't know what I'm gonna do until I'm gonna get tired um, but yeah that's the update guys I'm just chilling here it's it's really cozy actually uh, it started raining that's why I'm sitting like this and um, yeah I got my snacks I got a beer alcohol free of course and uh, yeah I'm just enjoying every second of this except for the for the mosquitoes, but uh, I guess that's part of it. You gotta have this all over your face. And uh, sometimes I wonder if this makes them come even more, but I guess, Jesus. I actually got a bit of an insider tip 
there's another road similar to the wilderness road called the silver road uh, so that's where uh, I'm planning to go tomorrow and the only problem with that road is that it leads all the way to Norway and so if I drive that road I'm gonna have to drive to the border and then drive back the same way but I mean if it's a beautiful place then uh, it might be worth it so yeah damn I have talked a lot now but I am lonely out here in the woods guys I only have uh, you guys to talk to and uh, yeah I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure Good morning, uh, it's currently 8.47 I woke up maybe a bit after 7 And uh, yeah, I slept like a baby this evening or tonight It was actually awesome But yeah, it's 8.47 and uh, it's time to hit the road We're gonna start heading towards the Silver Road It's also called Riksväg 95 I need to buy some toothpaste on the way because I can't find mine but apart from that, we're just gonna be driving, and um, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. As the night starts falling, let my fingers walk over your head. We got nothing to be scared of. I'd rather be with you. So I've kept driving, I'm getting close to the end of this silver road and the direction I'm looking at has the, the sickest view I've seen in my entire life. I'm not gonna show you yet, we're gonna walk up to here, we gotta be careful. We're gonna walk up here, whenever we get up there I'm gonna show you, okay? When I was young, I thought to grow. Right, so I'm just passing over the edge now. Silver Road leads all the way to the Norwegian border and due to the virus it was forbidden to cross. So at this point I decided to start heading back to the Wilderness Road. I just had to see it again and I ended up making some new friends along the way. managed to keep these shoes dry the whole day and right now when I stepped out of the car I stepped right out in that Alright, so I just had to update you guys I've been driving for maybe 45 minutes and I went into this parking spot next on the road and uh, like a baby fox just runs up from the forest and it seemed really curious and also a bit scared but I went out of the car and I managed to capture some amazing shots of this fox like it was very very scared like I said but it was also super curious and like wanted to come close to me and stuff and yeah I just managed to get some really good shots like true Kapunka style and uh, I don't know it was just amazing and <laughs> that's all I wanted to say. Only 20 minutes later, I ran into another curious baby fox. And this was truly one of the most amazing moments in my life. All 
right so we're sitting here and we got this baby fox right here and it's really curious Wow, I've never experienced anything like this. I think they're so young that they don't understand that. Or well, they don't know, you know, they're not shy yet. I think he wants to leave me. <laughs> Hello. Nej, inte där. Det är inte bra. Bye bye friend. Don't get run over. around my face like confused so good This is kind of one of those moments when you just point your camera in any direction and uh, it's gonna look good. Um, so, I mean, yeah. I've just been standing here, you know, as the clouds are moving past really quickly, everything changes constantly and... Oh, it's just... wow. I'm like, <laughs> I'm literally speechless. That sounded so fake, but... I'm just like, standing here, you know? I can't even believe that this is Sweden, like, well I guess technically it's Norway though, all the nice stuff is in Norway, but I'm looking at it from Sweden. <laughs> and for anyone who was uh, wondering, uh, when I was talking earlier in Abisko about the perfect conditions for photography and stuff, this is the perfect conditions. We just had rain, it's like green and nice and wet and uh, the clouds are just moving around like really nice i don't know how to explain it but you know we got clouds no harsh sunlight just pure awesomeness basically and uh, with that said i'm gonna make my way down to the car
Well, look who it is. It's me. And uh, time is 10.30 p.m. I've been driving and driving and droning and uh, folding and yeah, all the things. And I was this close to getting a hotel again because I'm exhausted. But I figured we'd end the trip just the way we started it in the back of the good old Skoda. And I actually found a pretty awesome spot. So we get the campfire on the bench and this amazing lake view. I don't know if you've already seen the drone footage, but the drone footage I got a few minutes ago was insane. So yeah, yeah, it was a mosquito. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get a fire going. I'm gonna make some food, some hot dogs. Uh, shocker <laughs> and uh, I am also gonna clean up this mess uh, it gets messy really quickly and I mean if I'm gonna be able to sleep here I need to yeah I need to clean this up but um, but anyways I will catch you guys in the morning and uh, yeah the trip is kind of coming to an end which is kind of sad but also kind of nice because I want to sleep in my own bed and uh, yeah I'm tired guys but uh, see, see you in the morning morning for the last time um, yeah the trip is over and I was planning to shoot the whole breakfast sequence and have a little talk with you guys in my head I imagine it like waking up to the sunlight you know but yeah it was more like I woke up wet shoes wet clothes wet socks but yeah I just I just quickly wanted to finish off the video I guess and I don't know if I'm gonna use this material or not but I basically just want to say that this trip has just been amazing, like undescribably good and I'm not exaggerating and I'm sorry if my excitement isn't like manifesting in physical form uh, but I'm pretty... it's just been really amazing and uh, obviously I'm exhausted after a lot of driving, a lot of sleeping in the car and a lot of exploring but it's a good kind of tired and uh, I recommend any one of you out there that feel the urge to just go out and drive in a car or whatever to just just do it. There's not much more to it. I came up with the idea to make this trip about two weeks ago and yeah, now I've done it. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Uh, leave a like and a subscribe if you want to and I will see you in the next one. Peace. I left Lapland with a bittersweet feeling. It was without a doubt the most fulfilling adventure that I'd ever been on, but at the same time I felt that there was so much more to explore. And little did I know that I was going to be back again the next year, but not alone. Yeah,